We get customers a lot of the time talking about the test strips and the difference between the app and the test strips. So I wanted to discuss a couple of things there. Uh, the first thing is, is it's for this particular spa, this is a spa in our Arctic Spa's Duncan showroom. Um, and you can see it says that the CL level or chlorine sanitizer level is okay, pH is okay. So let's test with the strip. So we take the strip out. Most of you guys, uh, uh, know how to use these, but it's just a one second dip. So I dip this in for one second, take it out, and then I turn it level, okay? And then I give it 15 seconds or so. The first thing you'll notice though, is uh, when you look at this here, it's actually only showing in this like 0.5 parts per million. So there's a, and so a lot of times people will think, well, man, that's, that's really low. Um, I, need to, I need to add some sanitizer here. Um, but the truth is, is that the amount of sanitizer you need with the, uh, the Spa Boy system is often from uh, 0.5 to 1.5. And you can see this is set for a, a chlorine range of low. So that's why it's in that 0.5 range. So that'll be the bottom of that range. Um, and that's why the strip doesn't seem to show. Now, why is that? Well, why doesn't it show the same okay range? Well, this okay range that these strips were designed for is for chemical chemical spas. So if you're using a chemi traditional chemically maintained spa, or if you're using a spa that's not spa boy, meaning you're using a saltwater system that has Onsen or one of the alternate saltwater systems out there, then we have to assume that you're not necessarily going to be adjusting this as often as, as, as spa boy would adjust it. So we want to have more of a buffer or more of a residual of sanitizer in the water to make sure that you don't run out of sanitizer. Because uh, it wouldn't take very much use for this to, uh, to turn off, right? You know, as, as, as soon as you're down to zero, you'd have no sanitizer in the water. Now you can see actually spa boy's chugging away inside the tub. It's chugging away. I, I, I'd like to point out something else too. You can see that the electrode, which is this little battery on here, is showing as red, which means the cell is, is on its last legs. It's starting to show some wear and tear. And it's, you know, it's a showroom model. It's been in here for a while. So that will happen. But as long as it continues to smoke like that, it's continuing to produce sanitizer. You don't have to get you don't have to change it. This is when I would use, when I see mine turn like, usually goes like orange and then, or yellow, orange, and then red. Uh, somewhere in that time, I'd go out and get another cell and have it on hand. Of course, we're right here in the showroom, so if we need another cell, we can get one easily. But I want to go back to this. It's on low, it's only measuring 0.5 parts per million on a spa boy spa, that's just fine. If this was a onsen spa, I would say you need to increase your onsen um, output a little bit, add a few more hours so you get a little bit more of a residual. Um, I recommend that you stay within this one to three uh, parts per million range here, so even three to five parts per million. Uh, we tell people on a salt system, if you're at three parts per million, you're good. You don't need to go all the way up to five because you're gonna be producing sanitizer. It's gonna be doing it every day, so you're not gonna to have to worry about it getting too low. But that's why these strips, because they're designed for the traditional maintenance systems, they often show as low. It's not actually low from a spa boy point of view. That medical grade probe is very accurate. It's gonna make sure the system's high. Now, if, you, if I use the spa more, because this is a showroom spa, it's not getting used every day. Um, we want to keep it at low. But if you're using this Regulus, it'd be medium, and that's by default. And if you use your spa a lot more, you'd set that for high. And that would actually change this, uh, and it'd become more purple uh, as this goes up, this low, medium, high goes up. You'd get more purple showing by default on this. Now, the other thing you can see here is it's saying that the pH is okay. And sure enough, the pH is right where it should be. It's, it's in that ideal range and that's what it's showing. Now, what if it was showing one or two squares low? You know, a lot of times I see people, they, they see this get into the red over here or even the yellow, uh, one of these two dots. Um, if you actually measure and, and you can scroll over this and get a measurement. And because we know with the salt water system, we know the pH always climbs up. 6.8 is almost neutral, right? So pH neutral is seven. And so I know that as my cell is producing 
is producing uh, sanitizer, it's also producing pH up and it's going to increase my pH. So I'm not worried, even though it looks red. Lots of people go, oh no, my, my dot says it's red, I should panic. Well, realistically, if this number is close to seven, I'd just leave it because in another two days it'll be seven and it'll probably jump to this next dot and be yellow. And then in a few more days after that, it's going to be 7.2 and it'll be in this ideal range. And then when it hits 7.8, it'll be here. And when it hits eight, it'll be here. Or you can actually measure from here if you, I think I've shown on the top side, I can go in and I can get the actual values by holding this. There, it goes into info. Then I use this uh, here. SB, that's going to give me my spa boy values. So the ORP is 652, which is great. Anything over 550 is clean, clean water, right? If I hit it again, oops, let's go back here. Get back to spa boy there. pH. So it's telling me my pH is 7.68, right? 7.68, that's right in this ideal range between 7.2 and 7.8 or 7.6. So it's still in that okay range. The thing is, is that if this was down here lower, you could actually get the exact value. And sometimes it's sitting at 6.8. Well, 6.8 would show as very low pH according to the app. But because it's a salt water system, we know the pH is always going to go up. If it's pretty close to seven, I wouldn't adjust, I wouldn't add any uh, pH adjustment here because we know over time it's just going to increase anyway. So I tell people, unless it's like, you know, 6.5 or lower, I wouldn't increase that pH by adding uh, pH up. I would not do that um, because the system's automatically going to increase it over time. So, uh, you know, I, I tell people when you see these kind of dots, outside of okay, they're just warnings. They're not really something that you have to act on right away. It's not until it's red and especially with sanitizer, if it's red, then maybe you want to hit your boost cycle or maybe you want to switch from low to high or something like that. So um, that's the test strips. Some people will use the, the drop tests. The drop tests are actually a little more accurate than these strips. You think about it, there's what, 50 strips in here. Um, there's not a lot of money that goes into these reagents. And a lot of the times people, when they dip them, they swirl them around so you'll get incorrect readings. Um, if you don't take, put it in for one second and hold it level and give it 15 seconds, um, or they wait too long over time, these readings. So the strips can be easily misinterpreted. And not to mention, not all of our eyes are as good as they used to be. We might not be able to read this as, as well. If you're really concerned, um, you know, rely on the, the Spa Boy uh, readings. It's going to be the most accurate, but if you don't have Spa Boy, then you could use a drop test. The drop tests are a little more accurate, but again, same sorts of problems. Sometimes you add a a bigger drop than or a smaller drop or one extra drop and it's not going to give you an accurate reading. The tendency is uh, for people to think that these things read better than this and that is not the case. The medical grade probe does a much better job of reading this stuff than these types of things. These are to give you a general indication as to where things are. This is a much more accurate uh, reading for you. Um, drop tests. If you find that this is way different than this, from these readings, always consistently different, then maybe your probe needs to be calibrated or cleaned. You know, um, I have other videos on how to clean the probe and stuff, but if you get some stuff on the end of that probe and it's not getting, the, the sensors aren't getting a true read of the water, it can give you wildly uh, disproportionate readings. So cleaning it off from time to time is a good idea. Um, and if you continue to have those types of issues, you can have our uh, texts come out. The texts actually have a solution that they put the probe in of a known value and we can compare to that known value. Um, is this probe actually reading within the range that it's supposed to? If not, then we can recalibrate, recalibrate that probe. I'm John Kierstead for Arctic Spas. Thanks for watching the video.